Good. Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming out on a Friday afternoon. And, and uh, as mayor of the city of Muncie, uh, I'm very happy and encouraged to announce that uh, I believe we have a uh, very solid interlocal agreement on providing animal care and services. Uh, a tentative agreement based on the approval of all the different governing bodies uh, in the city of Muncie and uh, Delaware County. <coughs> Something that a number of us have been working on for uh, since the first of the year. Many, such as Council Member Allison Quirk and County Council Member Chris Matchett and County Commissioner Todd Donetti and County Commissioner Don Dunnick have been working on for a number of years and hoping to bring this to fruition. And, uh, I'm happy today to, I believe that we've got something that's very simple, very cost effective, and uh, very efficient to uh, be able to uh, provide uh, a good solid animal care and service to uh, the city of Muncie and throughout Delaware County. Uh, very briefly, I'll just touch on a few of the highlights of the interlocal agreement, uh, and then I'll let the, the uh, county commissioners speak and Allison Quirk from the City Council and Chris. Uh, with this new plan of the Animal Care and Service Agreement, uh, the facility will be open six days a week for adoptions, reclaims, owner surrenders, and, and other programs that will be in place and be put in place by the uh, newly uh, formed Muncie Animal Care and Service Commission. It'll be open 24 hours a day with 365 days a year of coverage. Currently, the, the city has one full-time and two part-time employees. Uh, the county has one full-time employee providing these services uh, with this new plan. There will be four full-time officers for camp animal care and service. There will be two part-time officers in place. The current city animal care commission that is in place at this time shall be eliminated uh, upon, a, upon adoption of this uh, animal care and service agreement. The new Commission Animal Care and Service Agreement appointments shall be one by the Mayor, two by the City Council, one by the County Commissioners, two by the County Council, and one by the Delaware County Health Department. One appointment each of the City and County Council shall be a veterinarian. I think it's very important for everybody to understand that there, there will be no ordinance changes at this time impacting the City or County. We will leave that to the Animal Care and Service Commission as they move forward. The cost sharing of this project at the implementation will be $280,000 from the city and $120,000 from the county. Again, as I said, we hope to have this in place by May the 1st of 2012, and that's upon adoption of the uh, county commissioners, the uh, city council, and the county council. I'd like to let uh, President County Commissioner Todd Donetti speak, and we'll keep moving forward. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, once again, I am Todd Donetti, uh, President of the County Commissioners, and I will tell you, um, I want to go back a few years. Um, it's I, When I served on the County Council, uh, uh, probably two of those terms, the latter eight years of those, was trying to figure out something to do with uh, the consolidation of the animal control. Uh, I think it was probably uh, in my fifth year that we looked at uh, when Cannon came in, uh, Mayor Cannon came in and wanted to change things with the city. And I think at that point in time, we went out to a, uh, at the SPCA. Uh, there was problems with that, that didn't work out. And it's been kind of uh, downhill ever since when trying to figure out how we could uh, deal with the animal control. Um, it was, um, it was never the county side, whether it was commissioners or council, uh, at any point to not try to work something out with the city. It was always uh, something on the city side that made it difficult. Um, and so it's, it was very re uh, refreshing to have an opportunity to work with the administration that uh, put this as one of the top agendas, uh, got to work on it right away. I think we've been working on it the last uh, several weeks. And um, uh, very cooperative, very uh, 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 as far as um, uh, 
cohesive on, on the process of how we want to do it and uh, or compromising as well. Um, the last three years have been kind of difficult, uh, as I said, trying to, to maintain and, and you know, send animals to Newcastle when we shouldn't be. Uh, working with an organization that uh, uh, in Newcastle that was made it difficult for people to go and retrieve animals that were lost or find uh, the animals that were lost or even do any kind of an adoption process with those animals that were found. So it's uh, we feel that uh, the biggest thing on this is uh, it is a city county uh, organized uh, operation. It is a fully comprehensive operation which is important which means that the adoption process is single and uh, under one policy. The countywide unincorporated areas are all covered 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which uh, we uh, didn't have at all times. We did, uh, you know, on a voluntary basis that, uh, that it was put into place, but it, it wasn't always that way. Um, it is now. Uh, we look to bring in uh, work with the board and, and the, and the uh, uh, the towns to bring in the towns so that this could be a full comprehensive plan countywide uh, including the incorporated areas or towns um, and you know you have one place to go you have one place to go which is here in town with good hours I think, they're, I think the hours are, are uh, six days a week now uh, and you can be able to go and communicate with one set of people so you're not being tracked around from place to place trying to figure out where your animal might be or where adoptions could be made. Uh, everybody's going to be working together uh, within the organizations, um, uh, all the different ones throughout the county. And um, you know we'll have one set of non-ordinance policies. So that's going to be the biggest key. Uh, I'm fully satisfied with this and uh, I'm grateful that uh, the administrations, county and city, can work together and get this uh, done in the short period of time that we've had uh, since the new administration took over. So uh, I want to say thank you uh, and um, we look forward to this uh, plan being processed. Commissioner Bennett. I have nothing to add to that other than I concur that this is a big step forward for the county and the city. I know we have a county animal control officer who is nationally certified to be a, to deal with animals and to be an animal control officer and I hope we're able to keep him and incorporate him in his program. I think it's refreshing that we have a board that is for the most part will be nonpartisan and that board can make decisions that will will really affect the advancement of animal services in Delaware County. I think we have to change our concept from animal control to animal services. And from my uh, opinion, we have to make it cheaper for people to adopt pets and to uh, retrieve pets. So I'm pleased that we have this agreement. I think it is a positive step forward. And I think the city and the county can work together. And I think the taxpayers will get their money's worth. Thank you, Don. County Council, Chris Magic. Um, this goes all the way back for me, back in 2006 when I first got involved and was walking door to door. It was one of the hot issues back then and it still is today. I'm talking to some of the people that's been running last year, even this year, it gets out and talk to the public. It's always one of the top issues. So I'm proud of everybody working together on this. I see no reason why it couldn't happen years ago. I'm glad we're there. The county currently spends around seventy to eighty thousand a year on on this. And it's going to be a little bit above that, but I think it's a small investment and I have a really good outcome. So I'm glad to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Allison. Um, <clears throat> I feel like most of what I have to say has already been said, but I've served on the city council for over eight years. And I know that all the entire time that I served on the council, there was always some discussion as far as animal control and animal care. And unfortunately, we were never able to come to an agreement. I know that just over the past couple of years, the city council considered at least four different potential plans. And I knew that we, there had to be an opportunity somewhere within all of these plans that we could come to an agreement that both the city could be comfortable with and the county. 
I know that animal care is a high priority for Mayor Tyler, and I wanted to have an opportunity to work with the new superintendent, Phil Peckinpah, and Mayor Tyler to kind of go through the plans that we had looked at and what were the things that were going to work and what were the things that people felt like weren't going to, um, people that we couldn't get everyone to agree to. So we all worked together to come up with a plan that we could um, provide to the county, and I am very excited that the, that the county has been able to come to the table with us and come up with this plan. I, too, believe that this is going to make our animal care and services more efficient, both of the programs working together. It's going to be more comprehensive, and the board that we have put in place is going to have some very significant responsibilities. I kind of jokingly made comments that this isn't going to be a board that just meets for coffee and chit chat. They're going to have very significant responsibilities as far as public policy that's related to animal care. Um, I know that for those of us who were on the campaign trail in the last couple of years, we know that, that we have a problem within Muncie and Delaware County as far as animals running at large and some of the care that was being given to the animals. So I am very excited that we'll have this board that can address some of the public policy issues so that we can have better animal care and services here in Muncie and Delaware County. Um, with that said, the City Council has two appointments to that board, so we will be seeking persons of interest. One of our appointments does need to be a certified veterinarian, so if you know someone who may be interested, if you want to um, have them submit their information, we would take that into consideration. Um, some of the other points or highlights that I am really excited about, I know that through the discussions that I participated in the past, one of the things that we heard over and over, people were upset that um, with the county having to send the service out of town. And so this is something we get to keep it local. We're going to have better hours, more accommodating hours at the shelter. And another thing that's really exciting for all of us who love animals is that there's going to be a lower euthanasia rate. You know, uh, Phil Peckinpah has made it a priority for our animal shelter that, you know, to try to lower all the euthanasia rates so that we can hopefully adopt these animals out. And I think that that's a win for all of us. And also now that the health department will have a more for formal relationship with animal care, I think is a win also. Thank you, Allison. And uh, for the ones that haven't had a chance to look at the interlocal agreement yet, the uh, the interlocal agreement shall be for 50 years, commencing on the first day of May 2012 and continuing through May 1st of 2062. And the agreement shall automatically renew for an additional term of 10 years unless either party provides a written notice to the other party of its intention to not renew that agreement. And then there's a 90 day prior to its expiration to hopefully resolve any issues that may come up. One of the reasons that uh, in our meetings and that we had uh, determined that we wanted to release this as we did today is with the different governing bodies I think the process will probably start uh, the adoption process will probably start next week with the county commissioners meeting and the uh, city council meeting will be the first Monday in April that gives the public uh, more than ample time to vet this uh, uh, interlocal agreement and take a look at it and uh, we sincerely hope that keeping this as simple as we have will make this a much simpler process as we begin the adoption process. But we'll open it up to any questions now from anybody here in the public. If they've got any questions or comments, we'll be glad to uh, entertain them at this time. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I will add uh, that I did talk to Sheriff Scroggins, and, and uh, the Sheriff has offered his absolute full support on this as well, and will be working with us uh, on any issue that we may have in the county. So. Thank you, and, and I'm glad you brought that up. As also, uh, Chief, uh, Chief Chief Steve Stewart with the uh, Muncie Police Department has offered the same cooperation, and that and that's always important when you're dealing with these types of issues. But I think a comment that the Sheriff told me was about time, so that was good to hear. Does anybody have any questions or comments at this time from the audience? I'd just like to commend the mayor, county commissioners, city council, and county council. I think this is an excellent move and uh, good job. Thank you, Brad. Anybody have any other questions? This will be filed today, so there, so there will be copies at the clerk's office beginning the first of the week. <laughs> We have no questions. I thank everybody and uh
There's a St. Patrick's Day parade tomorrow evening. Hope to see everybody downtown Munson. Be a great place to spend a Saturday evening. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>